Welcome back everyone, Grojan here, and today we're going to be playing Little Hope. Now, we have played Man of Medan on the channel so far, and it was fun, it was fun. I think um, I struggled a little bit using the controller, and I haven't really used one much since. So today is going to be just as bad, <laughs> just as bad. We're going to die, we're going to die, I know it. So we are going to go and start a single player, say, a single player playthrough, and we'll see how it goes. Okay, and so we begin. We look like we're in a forest, a woods, a place called Little Hope, I'm imagining. So what's this? So we got like a little diner, a little takeout, and a bus. Roadside diner, 9.42pm, present day. He looks so familiar. Was that the wild magic? And it looks like we're off. So we are we the bus driver? Or are we on the bus? I don't know. I don't know. Guess we'll find out when we get there. We didn't see if there was anyone else on the bus. It looks like there's someone in the seat behind the driver though. But we're going. The atmosphere, like the, the mistiness and stuff like that. The diner looks like it's in the middle of nowhere. It looks a bit creepy. You always imagine something to jump out on you <laughs> in these little roads, don't you? Look at the visibility. It's so poor. That sign say dear. And we got a little stop sign as well. Oh, there's police cars blocking the road. What's happened? State trooper. There's a detour on. But we're going a different way. We're not going where we wanted to go, I guess. He doesn't look happy, does he? <laughs> Is he going to tell us what's happened? Thanks for pulling over. Sure. Something wrong? We got a problem up ahead. A big accident. We've had to close the road. You're right. We're diverting all traffic through Little Hope. The lips don't move the same time as the talking. Seem a little confused. Yeah, no, fine. What's up with I the driver? Get these folks to where they need to be. I doubt a short delay will trouble them too much. Head up the east road. He looked a bit Take suspicious, didn't he? Hope. Adds almost no time to your journey. Okay, so we are driving through Little Hope. That looks like a rickety old bridge, doesn't it? <laughs> oh, there is people on the bus. I thought he was a bit like, um, a bit loopy. Uh, that looks like where we just went through before. I heard the first 90 days are the toughest and roughest. I know it doesn't add up, but I get something from holding on to this. Is he going through rehab or something? I'm going the wrong way. It's fine, just a quick detour. It's not fine. Calm down. It's all okay. Oh, hey. please, John, could you not patronize me? Can you keep it down, please? Does it see the wheels buckling on the bus? Well, this ain't good. This ain't good. Little sparks coming off the bottom. Baird updated. The girl stood in the road and caused the bus driver to lose control and crash the bus. Okay, the little girl. So the bus is called the Ferryman. Okay, well, this isn't where we were. Looks a nice big house, though. Stop it, James. You know I hate it when you don't take the things I say seriously. Come on, sweetheart. I Little girl with the parents arguing. Day today. Can you believe they are at each other again? I can. You're drunk. 
What a surprise. I just caught the game with the guys, honey. That's it. That's not it. Never is. There's talk. Some of us may be losing our jobs. The factory... You've been saying that for years. I'm more worried about Megan. What's wrong with Megan? She looks okay to me. Everything looks okay after 10 beers. Reverend Carson held her back after prayers today. That's four weeks running. She's not right. It's serious, James. You worry too much about that kid. I can't deal with this right now. Another surprise. You can't deal with anything. When would be the right time? You're making a mountain out of a molehill. Getting yourself worked up for nothing. For nothing? Single-handedly keeping our family together Sam is far from nothing in my book. I could use a little help. Maybe if we'd had kids of our own, none of this would be happening. That's a real low blow. It's a bit, um... Don't you get how tough this is You're not is the me? only one feels pressure. The factory situation is serious, Anne. Real serious. Not right now. Well, he's a bit of an ass, isn't he? You see why she's upset? Not tonight. No way. Gonna go and get more ale. Graphics on these games are so good. Bonnie Trump, is that a record? Yeah. Oh, so there's a few kids. The Clark family Ten home, Massachusetts. She always is these days. Uh, give it a break. She's always late. That one. At least one of us is out having a good time. I forgot you had decisions to me. It's him I'm worried about. That guy's no good for her. All that new age bullshit reminds me of some creepy cult. <clears throat> He came in last week. We shot the breeze a little bit. I like him. That one. Is he the kid off Maze Runner? Legendary vinyl. Quit pawing at it, will you? <clears throat> Come over and turn the telly off on it. Or turn it over, put the sports on. Hey, <gasps> she stood on the record. Find the goddamn vinyl, will you? It was an accident. There's no need to be so tough on her. It was an accident. Everything Megan does is an accident. Face on him. <laughs> Gonna go and check on Megan, is he? There's someone else trying to come in. Number one, Dad. I'm going to start climbing through the window unless that door gets fixed. That must have How's been a boyfriend that? dropping her off. Let me guess. He's been pumping iron again. They've been at each other's throats since Dad got home. What's it about this time? Uh, Dad's been drinking. Dad's been drinking. Who could have guessed it? They're always fighting these days. Getting predictable. Like a record that keeps playing over and over. Dennis, for the ten millionth time, will you shift that shit of yours up into the attic? Hey, some respect. This is a valuable, rare, and sought-after collection. So he doesn't treat the mummy that nice either. I think she was a marine sergeant of past life. What's crawled up his ass? Dennis is being Dennis. Just Dennis doing what he's good at. Being really Dennis. What a surprise. Hey, Dennis. I thought it was going to be something in the attic or the loft hey. then. Not now, sis. I'm busy. Thought she was going to go and kick the ladder out from under him. Oh, shit, it's going. Hey, quit acting crazy. Is that the kid doing it? But not doing it, if you know what I mean. Oh. I jumped in. Never mind, eh? Jesus, you scared me, sweetheart. I heard you talking about me. Not now, Megan. I'd like to have a bath in peace. Take a break from this madhouse for a while. Okay, so she's going to go and have a bit of peace. Little kid's getting ignored again. Is she going to be like the bad one? Is she going to grow up to be evil or something? <gasps> she's got the key to the bathroom. Is she gonna go and lock it in? Yes, isn't she? Talk to mom and dad. It's not a great idea for me to get involved. 
You know what I'm like? I just upset someone. They sounded more serious than the usual bullshit. They were talking about Megan. She's done something bad. I can't say I'm surprised. There's definitely something off with Megan. I don't get why everyone keeps picking on her. Okay, Mr. Shining Knight in Armor. Where's the little princess anyway? Eh. Uh, consent. Leave Megan alone. alone. As her big sister, it is my sworn legal duty to check in on her. Right, sure. Like you're the law around here. She went upstairs. She went upstairs. Like a story, this isn't it? It's like a proper little film. You're gonna grab the matches, right trigger, hold up, and use the right button to uh, to look at it. Okay, so we can't really look at it, can we? We just move some matches around. Ah, uh, we're gonna light the gas. I remember back in the days when we used to have to do that. Yeah, I'm that old. I'm that old. Right. That's the heartbeats. It's going a bit quicker then, I think. Oh, I nearly missed that one. Here we go, we've done it, we've done it. As he fell asleep with his drink in his hand and his Elyon. to keep an eye on your little sister. Mom is real worried about her. Tanya's checking on her. It's okay, Dad. Tanya's checking on her right now. You want to try raising a family like this? The devil himself would struggle with you guys. <laughs> it's a bit mean, isn't it? Okay, so where have we got to go? Check on Sanya. I thought our sister was checking on Sanya. She was upstairs, though, right? Hey, Tanya. You up there? How's Megan doing? Don't know. Haven't seen her yet. Keep it down, will ya? Trying to sleep here. Now you looks wide awake. <laughs> Sleeping Beauty wakes. Forget him. Find Megan. Relax. I'm on it. I mean, the house can't be that big, can it? Do me a favor. Quit yelling for a couple of minutes. House could use some quiet. Sure, no problem. Sure, no problem. Not another sound. Place is crazy enough without your two cents. It's all the noise about anyway. Just checking in with Tanya and Megan. <laughs> Good luck with that. Megan's a handful. He doesn't like that kid, does he? Okay, so we got a run button? No, or if we do, we don't have it yet. Right, let's get up them stairs and go and check ourselves. We can't. Okay, looks like we're going to the front door. She wouldn't be outside, right? It's locked. It's locked. Let's go in the kitchen. Didn't we put the um, the kettle on before? On the water? On the gas? All right, well, we can't go that way. There was a door over there. I missed it when we came in. Yeah, yeah, there it is. Can't interact with it. There's another door over there to check, though. That one's locked as well. Where does this one lead us to? Oh, that takes us back to the living room. We're not going that way. Back in the kitchen. Right, there was another door there, but I don't think we can use that one. Damn it. Anthony, I'm getting really pissed off. Who's Anthony? Anthony, I swear if you don't answer me. What's she doing? Right about my family. Who's she talking to? Oh, oh. I think so too. Oh, who's that? Tanya, what's going on? That little brat locked me out. It's fucking freezing. She's planning to kill the family. Oh, the doll's on the fire. I'll let you back in. Go easy on Megan. Hold on. Kitchen's on fire. She's locked them out as well. This ain't good. Shit. 
Megan! You in there? Hey, you need to just get something and smash the door. Smash the window. The kitchen's on fire! Are you fucking serious? Ah, see how fast that's going up. Megan! Oh, he's asleep. He's drunk asleep. And the other one's stuck in the loft. Where the hell is everybody? Anthony, help! This is bad. This is bad. You all just need to jump. You all just need to jump. And he needs to start booting that door. Hey, he ain't waking up. He's not waking up. Hey, I can't it's all coming to like a climax. There's one gun. She's just walking around. It's like, it's not bothering her. There goes her mum. Yeah, screaming. The, the little girl sounds like she's screaming. Uh, help Tanya or help Megan? Oh, we've got to... Tanya, hold on! Uh, I, I don't know which one I pressed. We, we pressed Megan. I was pressing both ways at once then. Megan. Uh, we've got to get her out anyway. Oh, she's gone. Maybe we should have helped Tanya. She found somewhere safe. Oh no. <laughs> Maybe not. <laughs> Everything would be hot to touch, wouldn't it? Oh, she's gone. Imagine being outside watching your whole family. Couldn't even imagine what he... What lambs to the rest of his life. Oh shit, he's gone as well. <gasps> oh. That's not a nice way to go. Not one person rang the fire brigade. Oh, he thinks it was us. <laughs> he just ran in as well. So every one of them is gone. Okay. Right. So it looks like... Is this going to be like a therapist again? Hello. And welcome back. Welcome back. a new story for you. It's very different to the last. See, like a librarian kind of storyteller and we kind of play along in the stories. Is that how this is? Hmm. Oh, look like a little witchcrafty type books, don't they? No? I'm sure there's nothing to worry about. Nothing at all. This particular story isn't fully fleshed out. It's only part written and the choices you make will complete it. Okay. The fire. No, there was nothing you could have done about that. What's happened okay. has happened. Or has it? Or has it? Anyway, look to the future, I say. 
Life's but a walking shadow, eh? You are about to enter a confusing, perhaps disturbing world. How disturbing okay. <laughs> might depend on what you choose to believe and how confusing on the path you choose to take. Right, so this can be as good there or as bad as we make it. There are a number of directions in which one could travel. We seldom have all the information that we'd like, but we have to choose our path nonetheless and hope that we get the clarity and the outcomes that we want. As in life, your decisions will matter. The choices you make will affect others. All right. We've seen how the story starts. So Let's see how it ends. Much depth. How much death? How many more deaths is entirely up to you. It depends on the decisions that you make. What are you? Rational? Emotional? Do you trust your head or your heart? It's hard to say. There is no right answer. Some I do have a bad track record in these kind of games, though, <laughs> for getting people killed. <laughs> My advice, for what it's worth, is to thine own self be true. To thine own self be true? But uh, I'm here simply to record what you do, not to help you. Okay, well, let's get on with it. Let's get on with it. Interfere, you see. Not my place. I wonder if we can get him to interfere. Okay. But I am apparently allowed to share wise words from great storytellers that have gone before, where I feel that that would be appropriate. Oh, one final thing before I let you go. There are pictures in Little Hope that will, if found, show you a vision of a possible future, something that may or may not happen. So we can see something bad and we don't want it to happen? They might help you. Okay. You have a funeral to attend. Off you go. Have fun. Oh, well, we're off to a funeral. I do enjoy it. It stays morbid, doesn't it? <laughs> Alright, let's get going. Let's get going. Right, so, it still sounds like a fire, but I think it's rain. Yeah. Alright, we're in a graveyard. Whose funeral are we at? Is it the whole family? None of us here today can understand why this tragic accident happened. But we can take comfort from the knowledge that the family are together for eternity. Tanya A. Clark, yeah, so it's the family. So quiet. I mean, it, it is a funeral, so, you know, <laughs> what do we expect? But. Is that new? Why is it like drum rolling? Oh, a bit of thunder. Bright light. Okay, we're waking up. Something I want to do in a sec is... Can we change the settings and put the... Subtitles on? There we go. Subtitles on. I don't know what sidebars are. No idea. Do we want to save it? Yes, we do. Andrew, 18, college students, anxious and detached. <clears throat> hang on. Oh, hang, wait. Wasn't he the kid in the fire? The one who ran back in? Or was he? Taylor, 22, college students, headstrong and sensitive. John, 43, college professor, rational, overbearing. Where the hell look, is Daniel? I can't he looks like him. the dad. I don't know. A little bit. Does he? Instead of goofing around, you want to lend a hand here? What do you want me to do? What do you want me to do, John? Call for help. If you can manage that. I'm on it. I already tried once, but... No signal. 
Consider it and relationship updated. Taylor had agreed with John and tried calling for help again. Taylor got irritated with John when asked to ask for help after the bus crash. Okay. So that's uh, relationships with everyone. Hey, Andrew, buddy. How you doing? Where are we? What happened? Yeah, the bus crashed. We're okay, though. Just shaking up. If you say so. I don't remember being in any crash. You're probably in shock. Maybe a mild concussion in there, too. Give yourself some time. Stay here. Don't move. What's that noise? I like metal scraping. Still no signal. Thing, useless piece of crap. May as well be dead. Okay, take it easy. We'll figure out what to do. That makes it look like the bus is about to fall on him. Daniel, 20, college students, amiable and defensive. Fuck, where's my phone? Oh, he's down a hole. He's got a torch. Someone else is down there with him. Angela, 48, mature students, abrasive and understanding. Looks like her glasses might be broke. Hey, anyone up there? Hey. Daniel, that you? John, good to hear you. Daniel? Taylor, you okay? I'm good. We're fine too, thanks for asking. <laughs> you okay down there? I'm all right, nothing I can't deal with. Hey, John, any idea what caused the crash? Not sure. Looked like the driver swerved to avoid something in the road. He down there, by the way? No, he's disappeared. Nope. No sign of him. Weird. He isn't up here either. Can you get back up to us? Looks pretty steep. I see go a trail down here I could try. Great. Yeah, go down the trail. Take the trail. Should take you to the road. We can regroup there. That's a plan. See you soon. <coughs> right. Hey, Taylor. Help me get Andrew up on his feet, will ya? Wait. I don't remember anything. He's got amnesia. Who are you? It's okay. You're concussed. I'm John. You're a college professor. <coughs> we were taking a Is this bus like on a school trip, trip? But that didn't work out so well. Crash wasn't on the curriculum. <laughs> uh, we'll find the others, get some help. Think of it as a character building exercise. That's the matching prompt before the timer runs out. Uh, oh shit, I'm going come on, X. You can do it. X, Y, A, B. X. Teamwork at its finest. I wasn't ready. <laughs> I had this dream. It was so real flames all around us it was grim that bang on the head must have been a beauty so we dreamed trail, the fire the are on we'll come out down the road we'll meet them there eh uh, why leave we the bus talk this through why leave the bus not like we have somewhere better to wait no we could be here all night our best move is to get to the others then head towards town see if we can find some help okay where's the bus driver where's the driver Shouldn't he be back by now? The driver's done what we should be doing. Gone into town for help. Okay, let's go. You're right. Let's go. I'm with you. I'm right? The quicker we get help, the quicker we can all go home. We Stay made an important behind. decision then, I guess. Right, so where we're going to stop now is... Yeah, we're going to stop here. Because it looks like we're going to start heading off into town. And that is where we are going to carry on in the next episode so we finish it here hey everyone thank you so much for watching really does mean a lot hope you are gonna enjoy the game if you're new here if you are gonna enjoy it please hit that subscribe button if you enjoy the episodes hit the like button drop some comments down below let us know what you think so far i want to say a massive thank you to all the people who signed up on the patreon and joined as members it really does mean a lot thank you so much and we do have a discord if anyone is interested the link is down below come say hello and we'll see you soon thanks everyone bye